free somehow. You can. Really? What? Name it. Tell me who has my baby. Please, Jake, where is he? Where is my little boy? Babe, I... I can't, I can't, I can't. Come on, just tell me. I can take it, Jake. I can handle it, please. Oh, no, I... I, I can't do that. You twisted everything he said to make it fit your case against Kendall. Now, it's well known that you'd like to see your ex-wife locked up anywhere, Mr. Lavery, but isn't it a little pitiful to try to hang Stuart Chandler's murder on her? That's not what I'm doing. No, no, you're not. You're trying to get your lover off scot-free. Well, I'm afraid it's not going to work. And neither will your attempts to pump my wife for information. Well, <laughs> this is officially awkward. Mr. North, I'd say my work here is done. Well, I'm sorry, gentlemen. Your two pronged attack has failed miserably here. It's not over yet. Yeah. I guess that shouldn't come as a surprise. I mean, this partnership was destined to disintegrate, right? I mean, given. You're now married to the woman he was sleeping with. Or, uh, who knows, maybe you still are. Erica, what are you doing? Ryan told me that you bugged Adam's house. Has Andy said anything incriminating yet? No, not yet. But when she does, I'll have it recorded. All right. Not yet. I like the sound of that. Do you have any idea when you think that might be? I oh, really, I don't. I mean, it could be weeks before Annie slips up. We don't have weeks. Kendall's trial has been moved up till Monday. That means we only have a few days to prove that Annie is guilty of killing Stuart. Otherwise, my daughter can go to prison. Well, we better get listening. You're admitting it. It's Kendall. You killed Stuart. What is she doing in Adam's house? Of course I'm not serious. Now stop insulting my intelligence. You're not here for my help. You're here for my confession. You think I killed Stuart, don't you? Yeah. And I'm not the only one. Of course not. God, it all makes perfect sense now. Everyone's joining forces for their precious little Kendall. It's no wonder Ryan and Erica are always here. They're just waiting for me to trip up. Waiting for me to confess. It's actually a genius plan when you think about it. I mean, hell, I've killed before, right? And that was my own brother. So what's a mere stranger like Stuart, right? That sounds like another confession to me. Best case scenario, I go to jail. Worst case scenario, I get thrown back in Oak Haven. But all that's important is that the charges against you are dropped. See? Everyone wins. Yeah, everybody except for me. And I've got to tell you, Kendall, I'm getting really, really tired of losing. Mm. Mm. We can't. Yeah, we can. No. Look, it's easy. Mm. See? Look, Ma. No hands. Shut ah. up. It is not your hands that I'm worried about. It's your Ma who could walk in here at any minute. Yeah, but she's off duty. Mm. All right. But I'm warning you, someone could get an eyeful. <laughs> someone try your sister. Oh. You told me that you didn't want to know any details. I'm allowed to change my mind. But then you told me what I should do in case this should ever happen. I told What's you not right to tell me anything. You're right, no matter what. That's what you said. But that was before I saw him, Jake, before I held him. Which you weren't moment. supposed to do in the but first place. But I did. Place. And if I'm going to move past this, then I need more than those moments in the hospital. I, I need more than just thinking about him, tiny and fragile. You know, I need to imagine him strong and healthy and thriving. And, and I can't do that if I don't know where he is, who he's with. Look, I'm, I'm not asking for an exact location. I just want... You, 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 you're looking for a picture. You want to you see the picture. If, if I envision him, I don't know. Maybe it'll be easier to let go. All right, all right, all right. Really? Okay, I, I don't, I don't really know what to 
start? I guess um, the parents, I mean, are they madly in love? Do they have other kids? Oh, what's their house like? Oh, I don't even know if they're They're all slowing it down now. We're going to do this. We're going to do it right. Close the eyes. Close them. Close them. Mm-hmm. Erica, where are you going? To get Kendall. No, you can't. Aiden, you heard Annie. She's dangling over the edge if, if she hasn't already been pushed over. Well, isn't that the goal? To get Annie to a place where she's angry and she admits to everything she's done? But not at the expense of my daughter. Annie is dangerous. She's unstable. And there's no way that Kendall can be allowed to be alone with her. I mean, the woman, she's a mad woman. Erica. Erica, wait. I will not let you or anybody else keep me from Emma. I know why you came here that night. You came here because you were going to kidnap Emma. So, so what? What, that means I was willing to shoot whoever got in my way? Well, you were desperate. No, 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 Kendall. You were desperate. See, I had already been separated from Emma for how many months at that point? It hurt, and it was horrible, but I had gotten used to it because I had to. But you, on the other hand, you came here straight from the hospital, straight from watching your baby boy die, or so you thought. It doesn't get much more desperate than that. Of course I wanted revenge. Who wouldn't? But I didn't kill Adam. Oh, no, you're right. Adam is still alive. I didn't shoot anyone, Really, okay? Kendall, then why does all of the evidence point to you? Oh, God. What in all God's the- name is all of this racket? What are you doing in my house? What everybody in this town is doing, trying to push me over the edge. They all think that I'm still crazy, think? Adam. Try no. Oh, that does it. I am having you removed. Oh, oh. Adam. Thank God. See, I told you, they're all out to get me. Erica Kane, well, that changes everything. Now I'm calling the police. Good. I think you'll be especially interested to hear how Annie threatened my daughter. I won't pretend to understand this triangle. Well, one thing is quite clear. Kendall Hart Slater is a force to be reckoned with. Sure. I mean, look at you two. The power she has. You, you're working together to save your woman when it couldn't be more clear you can't stand each other. You're dumb? Now, what is it about her? What makes her so special you'd sacrifice every last ounce of self-respect? Huh? I suggest you figure it out. Preferably before you take the stand. You've been served. Oh, uh, I tell your buddy Tad he'll be receiving one too. I told you to stay away from them. Yeah, well, the thing is, I don't take orders from you. It's a small, sleepy little town. It's nestled into the countryside, which is a perfect place to raise a child. In the house? Well, the house is a little small, I'm warning you now, but it's a two-bedroom, one-bath. It's the perfect size house, actually, for this perfect little family. They, They were high school sweethearts that actually got married right out of college. What do they do? He's a a veterinarian, and she is a teacher, and they work really, really hard. In fact, they've got this really cute little dog, too, I meant meant to mention. Well, you can't grow up without one of those. No, you can't. So they have been waiting and working and working and waiting for the perfect child to come along. And finally, now he has. And that is thanks to you. doubt in my mind that he will be. I just, I need a tissue. I'm going to be right back. Thank you. Hi. <clears throat> How long were you standing there? What are you doing? What are you doing? I always look like I'm doing. I'm sticking my nose in your business. What do you think you're doing? A little mini-series you came up with. Was that to ease her conscience or yours? 